Here we have Kabul, the white big horse. And there we have our little patient, Tibor, who's getting pretty well, who is now free of painkillers. He's walking, he's playing, he's, he had galloped. Not that he's really galloping the way he used to be, but he's getting better. And that makes me happy. It's the first day without painkillers. What a terrible life, you might say, if you see my, my videos. Well, you're right, I have a terrible life. Making movies of these horses. Um, well, actually, sometimes I do complain. I'm Dutch and we Dutch people always complain. Where's this grey horse? Ah, oh, there he is. Always typical Dutch, we are always complaining about the weather because the weather is really awful sometimes. And it's only a few months um, that the weather is so well that you can do some videos. So if you think I, I'm having an overdose of videos, you're right. <clears throat> On the castration of uh, Tibor, I made a movie of it. And I made it so you can see what happens after that. I've been to Spain uh, several times and I was there when, when horses were castrated and um, it doesn't, doesn't make you happy. And you might say, especially when you're sitting behind your computer and watching these YouTube film movies, you might say, you should have interfered. Yeah, you're very right, I should have. Um, said to these people you have to sedate them you have to use painkillers and you have to do this and that I can assure you if you're there it's fighting uh, against against something which has no use and when you are fighting against something that has no use don't fight it it's the same with little Tibor there was a few males about people who said oh how can you be so awful well I didn't castrate him the vet did and he did a good job, um, I, he had painkillers, but he has to recover, and as you can see now with his mouth, mouth full of hay, he's recovering. It's part of being living in captivity, and of course I feel very responsible for this little guy. Um, he's my friend, and he came to live with us, and I promised him that I would take care of him, and I did, and I will. <laughs> I don't want him to be in pain, but I don't want Kabul to be in pain too. Let me try to zoom on the, the wounds that little, Kab um, little Tibor causes. Behind the ears of Kabul, every day when they were in the field, there were wounds on his legs. Not because Tibor is mean, but because Tibor is a stallion and he's also uh, very interested in stallion behavior. And when, for instance, the, the other two boys came with us uh, two months ago, there was something activated more than ever. Tibor is five, I, I think so. I will look that up on his passport. Five, and he's he was becoming more and more stallion. And even though um, the bad thing about these little guys is that you have to laugh over it, and I can I can deal with it. He wasn't mean to me at all because. Well, they, no horse ever here is mean to me. The way he walks, he already did. Um, he, he, look at the movie of how he came to us. But <clears throat> you can prevent the, the consequences. I mean, if a horse is, is getting mean, is getting too much testosterone in his uh, blood, and he's, he's getting, um, well, too much male behavior, then you have to decide what to do. You can keep him alone. Yeah, without another horse but I choose not to have horses by themselves I, I think horses need other horses and these two are, are pretty good friends so that was the decision on the other hand I'm not going to explain everything and uh, respond on, on negative uh, things perhaps you might have noticed that sometimes I don't respond at all. I notice also in, in my life, and I'm now um, 50, 50 years of age, all my life been, been together with horses, not always had my own horses. I learned 
that there is a lot of ignorance. There is a lot of people who, who claim to know how it works, and especially women are very sentimental about horses. They um, they're afraid. I, I don't know what it is. Perhaps it's 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 people, women especially feel feel very uh, abused and very sentimental about horses. And sentiment doesn't help any horse ever. Perhaps on the on the short term, when you feel sorry for a horse and you want to fight for him, and when you are really have have something to consider to 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 worry about, hmm? abuse horses. Of course, those are horses. Please be sentimental for a while and 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 do something about it. But don't attack people who are sharing their knowledge, who are sharing their things. Anyway, for now it's a beautiful day. It's 25 degrees Celsius, but I'm I'm very Dutch always complaining about the weather so that's what I intend to do and sharing my knowledge sharing the, the, the life of these horses who live with us with you bye bye